You know, I never saw the first, uh, what's his face? Josh Warrington versus Mauricio Lara fight. But I was thinking to myself, oh, you know, I heard it was good. I expect the second fight to be good. So maybe I should watch it and talk about it. And then I was thinking to myself, and I get this thought more and more and more and more often these days. And AJ versus Usyk is no exception. Um, is it really worth my time to uh, prepare for something, uh, to preview something that's really not going to be, uh, how do I put this? It's not going to take place within a certain milieu as I imagine it, right? It's it's not going to be this being a fight fought under, you know, the accepted Marcus of Queensberry rules. Uh, it's not going to be fought on a level playing field, right? We're not going to get a real fight for whatever reason. It's going to be another one of them okie dokes, right? So I'm going to spend all this time previewing thinking about a fight and previewing it uh putting it in a certain milieu while at the same time in the back of my head thinking well that's not actually what's going to happen is it right more often than not these days we find ourselves some of us anyway some of us who are keeping it real uh, predicting fights based more on the politics than the sweet science and i'm not yeah, I talk about the politics because it's just, you know, it's a reflection of society at large. But ultimately, the thing that got me into boxing was the sweet science. So, you know, I'm sometimes experiencing cognitive dissonance, I, I suppose, dealing with disillusionment and uh, wholeheartedly, more often than not, being just uh, generally dejected when it comes to... Uh, boxing. So, you know, it is what it is. And what it is is not that big of a deal, right? I, I could always take this channel uh, in um, more, I don't know, esoteric, if you will. Shouldn't be, but unfortunately it is. Direction. I could always uh, spin boxing and push my own agenda narratives, you know what I mean, that are bigger than boxing. So it is what it is. But that long ass introductory rant over i think i did the right thing choosing to work on my roof and and plant some trees rather than spend the afternoon uh watching this fight right uh watching the first fight so i could talk about you know what might happen in the second fight but uh after having found out what had happened i went back i figured it's just a couple rounds i went back just just to watch it and talk about it real quick and um you know even knowing how the fight transpired ultimately just starting to 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 watch it seeing these two uh, uh mexicans if you will in style anyway you know in that ring going at it with the reyes gloves on man you know it you still got that feeling like, yeah, this was, it's going to be a tear up. It's going to be a good fight, right? And it wasn't. I thought Warrington won the first round quite clearly and was getting some good shots in, rocking Lara's head back, and Lara was coming back with his own shots. Uh, Warrington was looking good, aggressive, but even in the first round, when Lara went after him with the counterattack. He, as he was moving back, he jumped in with his head and cracked him, right? And then there were three, I think, other headbutts. Another one of them looked intentional. The other two, you could have argued, I guess, had that not been preceded by that blatant headbutt and followed by another blatant headbutt, uh, leading you to believe that that was Josh Warrington's game plan, right? Had those two blatant headbutts not happened, and then you had those two other ones that were kind of, uh, you know, you might have given him the benefit of the doubt. And maybe they even were accidental, those other two. But he doesn't deserve the benefit of the doubt, is what I'm saying, because of the two other blatant ones. So, you know... If I were, you know, some kind of a really compassionate person, I guess 
I would have felt bad for all the people that watched the fight, uh, that paid to be at the event, so on and so forth, who took time out of their day to participate in the event in any way, shape, or form, whether you know there in person or at home with their homies. Um, but yeah, I don't, because I'm not. <laughs> I just don't care that much anymore, you know what I mean? Uh, these times, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me closely, all right? More so than ever before, you got to be selfish these days, all right? First and foremost. And only give the time of day and attention and, and energy to the people that think like you and share your goals and aspirations, all right? And are there to work with you, all right? Cut everybody else off. I'm telling you, man. Cut them off, at least to some degree, all right? I'm not telling to you to be, uh, what's the term? A hobbit. Hobbit? Fuck. Anyway, uh, you know, I, I'm not telling you to be some kind of a recluse necessarily. But, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Don't, don't waste your energy on, on zombies and take care of you and yours first and foremost. All right. So boxing, you know, give it only so much energy that you can spare, right? That's all I'm saying. Well, I'm saying a lot more than that. But look, uh, it, it, it was starting to look like a good fight, but something about Warrington told me that he just he just didn't want to be in there, right? He would go after Lara and crack him with some good shots, rock his head back, and, and was having good success. But then Lara was like, yeah, whatever, my turn. And Warrington didn't didn't want to deal with what was coming back so he resorted to headbutting and just found a way out of this fight okay um you know a lot of people he should have been disqualified no questions asked disqualification period uh, a lot of people want to feel bad for mauricio i mean look if he gets a third fight off the back of this one then that's all good for him man yeah that Cut was nasty, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. What are you going to do? But if he gets another fight with Warrington off the back of this one, then, you know, that's that's good for him. But um, ultimately, I don't give a shit. Uh, Warrington, as tough as he once was or seemed to be, uh, you know, a lot of beat that out of him. He's not, even though he looks like... Uh, Patrick Stewart, whatever his name was, T-1000. Um, yeah, that was just that was just the facade, and ultimately he seems to have melted. All right? So congratulations to Lara on a DQ win. Hey, 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 this is my channel. I do what I want on a DQ win over, you know, an okay fighter, I guess. He crushed him in the first fight. And, you know, he's still not 100% back. Warrington, that is. And Lada capitalized and whipped his ass. All right? Not really, but you get the point. He owned him. Dominated him mentally. And I think, um, who knows? Who knows how the fight would have gone, right? Who knows? We, we could sit here and say, oh, well, Warrington was doing well. Yeah, in the first round. Sure, 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 won that round. So he would have gone on to win the fight. No, 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 no. He didn't have the bollocks, period. And he lost this one, all right? It is what it is. And what it is is hashtag boxing. Thanks for watching.